We are talking Exorcism Haunted Child from 2015. Now this is a Vietnamese horror movie and is a ghost story, but I have to say this is the English translation of this Vietnamese movie. And the reason I point that is because I don't think it's entirely accurate about what this movie is about. There's no exorcism in this movie and it barely features a haunted child. There is one but it's not really a big part of the film. But let me tell you what this film is actually about. Interestingly, this film has two distinct halves. We have the second half of the movie is kind of like a prequel. Um, the first half is about this teacher that ends up uh, working in this drama school and she stays on the premises. Now she stays in this room that they have used for props and there's rumours, all the students think there's rumours, or the area, or the roof is haunted. But she's undeterred, she doesn't really kind of believe in all that kind of thing. She goes there, inevitably, weird things start to happen, and she starts seeing this um, female in, like, white funeral clothing up there. And, uh, now this, originally, initially, it appears, it appears a little scary, but this woman, this mysterious woman in white, actually seems to be somewhat friendly and uh, really just wants to kind of talk. You know, is she a ghost or is she just another student who's kind of up there um, for some reason or another? Um, inevitably, we find out. Uh, and then we go on to our second half of the movie, which effectively is the origin story of this woman. Now, spoiler alert, she is a ghost uh, because we see her um, in this movie and what happens to her. And this is basically about her and her boyfriend and she, they have an accident on a, on a road and, um, you know, it's what's all kind of going on there. So what will happen, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let's talk about what works. Now, we see a lot of um, Asian horrors uh, with the typical kind of, you know, long haired girl with wet hair scrabbling around and it's kind of, there's a degree of that in this movie, although this one interestingly has a more of a schlocky feel uh, compared to say movies coming out of Korea or Japan. It feels a little bit more like a B-movie. The tone is not quite as serious. I wouldn't say it's like a comedy exactly, but there is certainly a more... Um, the kind of the seriousness is downplayed for more of a a lighter tone, more of a kind of a sillier tone to a degree without kind of going into uh, actual comedy. So it feels a little lighter. Some of the, this, it's not exactly a scary film at any point. The gore isn't exactly um, ever really seen on screen. So it has this, a lighter tone. Uh, so if you are, you know, you don't like really scary films, this is definitely a lighter touch. And as I say, it has a bit more of a, a, a B-movie feel to it. Some of the kind of the, the reactions are a little bit more kind of overplayed and things like this. So everyone's kind of like somewhat kind of exaggerated. So it gives it an interesting feel, certainly for a, a kind of a movie like this coming out of Asia, because I feel typically uh, a lot of these kind of Asian horror films tend to be somewhat kind of serious and sort of taking them at a very very serious so this feels a little unique in that in that respect now i'm not a hundred percent sure if this was intentional um this is obviously a lower budget movie but it's kind of like it, it makes it have somewhat of its own identity uh to a certain degree that being said there are a couple of shots where i do feel uh the movie kind of has some 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 spooky moments if not out and out scary there's things that actually do involve this spectral baby which i have to be honest with you it's not many uh, actually gotta say look pretty good they've done a good job here of kind of using digital effects and stuff to kind of overlay this baby to make it kind of look um spooky and kind of scary at times and it, and it does look a little freaky because you know it's again it's not something that is typically seen and uh i think those sequences look a little unique and the conceit here of ultimately having two connected stories um makes it feel somewhat of like an, of an anthology um, and it's an interesting one, and I also have to say, I, I, I like the fact that our, our character, who may or may not be a ghost, is not aggressive, um, makes for a refreshing change. I mean, in the first half of the movie, I, I actually found that the more interesting, 
Um, I was really quite keen to see how that played out because she doesn't want to harm anyone, she just wants the connection ultimately. And uh, so I found that quite an interesting idea. It has the trappings of it looking like a typical kind of haunting, you know, pale looking kind of like dripping wet Asian woman with like long dark hair. It's the typical kind of thing, but again, it's like she's not trying to be aggressive. So again, I found that sort of, um, you know, an interesting idea here. What doesn't work for me, I think the idea is squandered, quite frankly. Um, because what, right when the first half of the movie gets interesting, it cuts to the prequel. Now, we it's established in that first half of the movie that, you know, she probably is a ghost. But then the whole, the, the second part of the movie, which is effectively the origin story, has the boyfriend, like, communicating with her, and after the accident, and uh, we as the audience uh, are led to believe she's real. But we've seen that she isn't real in the first half of the movie, and she, and she is a ghost. So it really, did, that sh prequel should have been first, because it did it, it it doesn't make sense to have that second and have it, oh look, she, after all of this, she may well actually be a ghost because we already know she's a ghost because we've seen it in the first half of the movie. Weird decision. And there's other strange decisions here as well. Uh, and again, I, I, I'm watching this as a, a translated version and subtitles, so I don't know if things were lost. But there are some connections here that didn't really seem to make sense. Like the whole mythos of this woman in white wandering around the rooftops of this kind of school. Why is she there? Because we see that she died um, in hospital after a road accident. And that uh, they say that they found like the, a body in some water and she was like perfectly preserved. What's that got to do with it? Who's, is that someone else? It doesn't really make sense. Um, and again, I don't know if I was missing stuff in the kind of the translation here, but this movie seems to have all these kind of little offshoots and then it doesn't really tie together at all. Now, as I've mentioned, the movie has a somewhat of a, a, a B-movie aesthetic. And this is largely, I feel, some, some of the acting here is a little overcooked. Now, it's difficult to sometimes judge foreign language movies because obviously what I'm reading on a subtitle is not necessarily a direct translation about what is being said and the, you know, the emotional acting, the physical acting. Again, that's kind of what I'm more judging it on here. But everything here is a little bit kind of like over the top. Um, so it kind of makes the acting just seem a little hammy to me, even though I'm not necessarily reading um, a direct translation of what's being said. Just the physical acting and the kind of like the, the goofiness that sometimes comes across like that makes it feel like a, a, a bit more schlocky, a bit more um, silliness, if that makes sense. Uh, the the effects are largely downplayed. Um, when we do see our ghosts, for the most part, they're kind of just regular people. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of kind of like VFX done here and there. The haunting child thing is um, is barely barely a footnote in this film. Um, you know, it seems that. Our ghost character may have been pregnant when she has died, and hence this kind of baby child, but it really has no real impact on the actual story, and it's only in a couple of scenes, and it's like, well, you know, again, that could have been an interesting idea. The thing that frustrated me the most about this film is that its unique element to me was the fact that we have a ghost character who is just trying to have a connection with this uh, teacher, and then the film stops, and it just kind of like, then we go on to the prequel and it's just like, oh, I was kind of interested to see where that would happen because that to me was an interesting and some of a unique relationship and it just kind of lines up, oh, well, we've done with that now. Uh, let's kind of uh, move on to an origin story, which we already know that she's going to die because we've seen that she's a ghost. So it's kind of a moot point, to be honest with you. So I feel this movie's conceptual idea here is deeply flawed and um, the the... The execution of what we see on screen, I have to be honest with you, is workmanlike at best. Uh, so I don't really feel this is a, a, a strong movie. Um, it's not terrible. Like I said, it's, it's a watchable. 
um, if not un if not exciting movie here by any chance, but it's like, you know, it's just a little bit below average for me. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Please do let me uh, know what your thoughts are, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.